Okie doke, we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, it's been a, well, I'm not saying a strange, well, it's slight, well, maybe kind of a strange day. It certainly didn't, um, I wasn't at my full potential day. I certainly um, just came back from uh, the military hobby show with uh, Rob. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not saying it was a bad day, N not like that, not, not even close. But I certainly was not in a um, super peppy energy mode or whatever uh, at the tail end. Like uh, Rob was even shocked. He was like, you don't want to film for your channel? Like uh, the musket um, shot for 1812. I was like, I didn't even want to stay around for it. To be honest with you, I just wanted to leave. I was just not feeling, not feeling it that way. But I was just like, I just needed to, um, just wasn't, you know, it was just, it was hot and humid at that point, And I was just. Yeah, I just was like, you know, I just needed to go home. I was even sitting on the curb. Like, I was just like, what the hell? Watching the muskets go off. I'll say this. Uh, listening to the musket go off, just one. Because remember last year, they couldn't do it. They still had a ton of misfires. Um, Jesus Christ, it's loud. And that's just one. I was like, what the hell? I couldn't imagine like a bunch. Anyways... So we went to the ninth annual military hobby show. It was a not a, it didn't seem as a, uh, well attended as last year. Still very enjoyable to go to. I love interacting with people. Uh, there was one person in particular I interacted with for a very long time. I'm still having a look. I'm just going to say this. This is, uh, there's lots of, um, like I just ended the first moon work, uh, 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 um, the moon group uh, writers workshop. It's starting again next Thursday. It was a weird one in some ways on Friday. I was the only one that didn't contribute any uh, written material. And holy smokes, did I hear some good stuff. Or, uh, yeah, I did hear because they were reading it out. It was on just incredible. I felt terrible, but I said to them afterwards, even the host was like, um, you sure, like, you sure you're getting value for your money here or whatever, because you're not, you know, you don't seem to know what you're doing or what, what have you. And, um, I said, trust me, I am. I said, I'm just hoping I'm not, you know, um, devaluing you guys in the sense of being part of the group because I am. But I said, I'll try, I've figured out, I think, how to um, rejig things so I can give them some contributions. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm also listening to some brand new, uh, well, I know I don't, that's just the way my brain works. Uh, sorry, but I'm also listening to some brand new uh, techno, so we'll see how this goes. I think it, so far, so good. So hopefully it'll, my brain won't go too, um, too disjointed. We'll see. Uh, you know, it's like somebody... While I'm talking, or <laughs> yellow says something else, I'm like, what? Like I said before, I've got an attention span of like a subatomic particle. It's just terrible. Anyways, yeah, we'll get to back to that person. Uh, the person that I saw today, and I'll show you some stuff I got. Didn't get a ton of things. Remember, it's cash only. I met a lot of people I had seen, well, obviously, Bob and. Uh, what not Mort from uh, 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 Can Games got to see them. A uh, bunch of people from uh, the Auto of Miniatures group got to see Garth, who's a game beast runner from hell in Can Games. It's so nice to talk to him. Like I said, Rob was with me the entire time. Well, we just wandered off, did our thing. Um, did not talk to even the person that was like, hey, you know, you go talk to him about. Dig a trench and uh, help uh, uh, people out with whatever. I did talk to somebody else though who was like totally into uh, the Great War. It was, uh, but not as much as I wanted to. It was weird that way. I was just like, I think because lots of it right now, I'm trying to digest. Um, it's not a paradigm shift. It's uh, maybe an end of a season. Think of it, you know, thinking about things. Lots of closures, lots of changes happening right now. My game, the end of the moon group, another new moon group. The interview with Paul Hedder is coming up. Ah, it's 
just lots of lots of things, even like you know, uh, non-game wise kind of thing. You know, I just had uh, actually one of my neighbors. They've moved after over twenty years. Like, there's lots of things happening cha change wise. Um, even there's a potential I may you know move in a little while, like not in a few months, but like let's say a year, year and a half. Um, and for good kind of thing. It's like all oh, that type of stuff. Sorry you haven't seen anything or any movement. Um, but you are looking at a lot of changes on the main uh, game room due to the fact that Rob showed up. Like I said, we went off to, um, I'll show you some books and Lord knows what's. Um, but there's the U.S. Civil War map uh, back on again by GMT. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> weird because I'm talking to Rob. I'm like, I'm sure, you know, like, you may like look at me funny because it's not about the Great War, but it's like, look, you know, we were into it, and uh, you know, you were like, hey, let's uh, try to replay it because um, we need to, you know, he just wanted to do it proper. I was like, good for you. Anyways, we came to a, a good agreement. Um, it was weird. He suggested it, and I was like, well, <laughs> that's that was my plan all along. But anyways, he, he went. He's like. Hey, why don't we put out like a big, uh, long-term strategic thing? We can just do it for a little bit, and but we'll also play in an afternoon uh, quicker game, like the 1916 Suez uh, decision games that I had on the main table here. This is what I call the main game room, um, kind of like uh, if you're looking at it, the TARDIS, Tom Baker when he had his uh, secondary room of the uh, while well, he was redecorating the main one. Uh, the main uh, console room for the TARDIS. Um, I wonder why they did that. It was probably because of budget things, or they were rejigging things, probably BBC-wise. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're going to play the U.S. Civil War again. I said, just pick your poison, Rob. World War II, World War One, whatever the hell you want. I don't care, man. Let's just go for it. So we're going to go back to uh, the U.S. Civil War. I'm happy. Um, you now I'm getting drowsy. Good. Yeah, I've got a lot. This is going to be a crazy, crazy good week. Um, can you see this off to the side? I hope so. I'm going to try to, I was looking, he doesn't uh, have anything. Boyan, um, I can't say his name, darn it. Like this shit? Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Don't let me say that. 14 days, uh, Die Hard, uh, the solo, uh, like I've said, I love this solo. Um, uh, World War One air combat game. I think it's great. That's a really good cover, man. Really good cover. Um, I was like, so I went to take a look to see if he had a um, uh, solo trench version, uh, like trench raid version, because this seems extremely easy to reskin that way. He doesn't, so good. I'm going to give it a shot someday, hopefully. But I'm going to focus, I'm telling you right now, on. Um, this week, uh, just getting the war summary out. Any tidbits I do find out because it's hard. How can I not? Uh, uh, like it's just begging out for me to chit chat about. Uh, also, I'm doing the daily headlines for Christ's sakes, um, and also the uh, uh, you know uh, World War One image of the day. Shoot, I didn't do a um, uh, word search. No, let's just focus on proper things this week. I'm not saying word search is not proper, but I need to like really focus, focus. I want to focus on, uh, you know, 1916 Prelude to Blitzkrieg and do a proper job. Anyways, so, uh, the Ontario Model Soldier Society dude, sorry for not looking. Um, man, did this guy just paint figurines in every scale and was just going at it. He just loves painting miniatures. I was like, oh, he was. He would talk your, talk your ear off. Um, I got this for. Okay, look, all these books I got for next to nothing. Pick the dollar. This is just Zebruga. I was like, okay, well, obviously, great war. You're coming home. Uh, I paid a dollar for this. Harvest of War. The Prairie West. This is Canadian. Canadiana Great War looks interesting to me. I'll tell you that much. This I got from Norm Christie, who we're going to talk about because I got to talk to Norm Christie. And he's been to Gallipoli several times. Trust me, he's been to a ton of World War I battle sites multiple, multiple times as well as great. 
uh, uh, World War II, Korean War, whatever. But I, I'm not saying I don't care. I'm only focused on. That's the way I look, look at this. I, of course, I can scream, but uh, people um, clued in that I was like, Room 40, are you effing kidding me? You're coming home. Done. Uh, Norm Christie, who we'll, we'll talk about now, he said, uh, you want the quintessential uh, Canadian World War I Great War book? You have to pick this up. Chris, you have to pick this up. Okay. So you can see some stuff because I ain't uh, bopping around. Oh, a little bit tiny more at this bit. They gave out some free stuff. Uh, Canadian, I guess current Canadian magazines. But there was one that had something about World War One in it. I was like, okie dokie. Uh, you know. Oh, a shovel. It's this so cool to talk to uh, uh, Rob today about, uh, he's like, how did they actually dig the trenches? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Do you want me to talk to you about how they dig the trenches? I was like, he's like, did they use machinery? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Human machinery! That's what they used, Rob. Hey. <laughs> I wanted to uh, even... Oh, I did. I told him. I was like, you should see what the British were using. <laughs> At the very beginning, it was god-awful. They were using trench shovels or whatever. I'm like, my said it's a bit bigger than a soup spoon. <laughs> Huh, 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 huh. They just didn't know what the hell they were getting into. Anyways, I got to talk to Norm Christie. I will put a link into, um, I hope so, with Norm Christie. Sorry if you're not looking at anything uh, spectacular. Um, I thought I was going to see Norm Christie at the at the, uh, uh, the Vimy lecture that was at the... Uh, uh, War Museum uh, a little over a month ago. He wasn't there. I was shocked. Um, um, and then, you know, here I'm walking around and I look over and I'm like, Jesus Christ, there's Norm Christie selling books and talk and DVDs and at this little booth. And I was just like, what the hell is going on? Uh, i extremely happy I did not geek myself out of like, oh my god, I kept it calm. I was, um, I will say this though, he uh, gave me his card afterwards and said, um, you want to talk about your podcast or whatever, because I mean, uh, I really want, look, okay, trust me, as if, he's got... 10 trillion times more knowledge and experience and whatever. The guy's a major historian, man. The guy's got, like, you know, TV... Uh, from here to... Tr uh, he just finished doing a tour, for God's sakes, to Europe about the Great War. And, uh, or, yeah, it was about the Great War, although I saw it interesting. I was thinking about it. It was, like, too expensive for me. I was like, you got other things to deal with, but... Um, He talked to me nicely, obviously, properly. I mean, he recommended books. I got the Gobin book off of him. I got the I got three books off, of, uh, two books off of him. Um, three, two, hold on here. No, I didn't get Room Forty off of him. Um, to listen to this person talk. Oh, the guy's been to Gallipoli multiple times. It was crazy. Um, I talked to him for a long time, and no one came to the... I was nuts. I was like, this is amazing. Even after when I left uh, and came back uh, and was looking at, at some stuff. Look, I'm not saying... I'm not trying to whatever. But I could kind of get the general feeling he wanted to get rid of the person. <laughs> he was talking to so he could go and chit-chat with me for a little bit because I was just... When I realized... He was uh, not going to look at me funny. <sighs> when 
and I just wanted to talk proper. God Almighty. God, it felt good. Real good. Damn, real good. Oh my goodness, yeah, it felt good. I have so much to learn, but I felt so, um, how do I explain it? I, I don't know. Opportunity. Opportunity. Of a level of magnitude I have no idea about. Uh, even uh, I'm cluing in uh, sometimes it's, um, you know, I know people that I care about. For example, um, I'm, you know, uh, sorry if I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm not trying to be, uh, connect the dots and, you know, please uh, subscribe to my channel. No, it's, I'm not into that crap at all. Um, but, about, you know, when I'm th thinking these things about opportunity and potential and so much uh, bounty out there, and then I've got, you know, someone that I care about, like... Um, Clark Commando, 1983, Mark. I don't want to talk about, um, you know, these things, but I'm like, it's all in context. I don't know what's going to happen. Like you said before, he knows what's going to happen to him, him you know, in a little while. Um, regardless, you know, of what happens in the interim. He could still get hit by a car tomorrow. Um... But it's all the same thing as well, because I'm like, even if I end up being the age of whatever, I'm still hopefully going to feel like it's never going to be enough. You know, it's never going to be enough. And I've said this before with other people, and um, it's so beautiful to interact with these other people that are, I'm just going to throw out a few. Trust me, man. Everybody that's on my, fl uh, you know, um, I get to hang out with on Saturdays and so on and so forth. Yeah, you don't think I don't see what, you know, what's going on? Um, uh, Yeah, it just, um, uh, the engagement, the excitement, the, uh, it's a feedback loop. It's crazy. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I'm sorry you're not seeing a lot of it. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, that Room 40 book looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, yeah, like I said, on a side note, I'm happy that, um, yeah, I'm flipping back because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with everything. Yeah, I'm still going to be doing the um, Great War at Sea Mediterranean, and I'm going to scale it back. I've got it to like one, one quarter map, actually, size. I'm just trying to figure out how to do um, get the Austro-Hungarians to do a, um, I don't know, cut two scenarios I'm thinking about. Maybe a raid from Katero up towards, not Venice, but pretty close to it. And the, or um, pretending there's not the um, that crazy freaking blockade net or whatever the hell they had near the Strait of Otranto. Like, you know, before that, maybe see if I can um, nail some merchant ships uh, coming while the British are... Ooh, 
Remember that side little thing I wanted to do with the um, Italians? Maybe like um, they could, uh, what is it, Collier ship or something? Those coal ships? See if I can do a secret rendezvous. A little off the beaten merchant route. But uh, the British fleet is like, you know, doing a random little search. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Yeah, I just, like I still, like I'm like, oh, why don't you just follow the rules according to, I can't do that. <laughs> I just don't know how to do that, to be honest with you, most times. Except Rob's going to, uh, this is the vacation bit for me. Rob teaches me U.S. Civil War. <laughs> Any of that nonsense. I got another, sh I got enough shit to deal with, man. Oh, yeah, I get back to the creative writing. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to focus on a front page uh, for now and do the articles, like a quick little article bit. That should get me going. Because I do want to contribute for them. I felt bad. Oh my god, you should have heard the stuff I... Uh, they read out to me. Oh, Jesus. Just incredible. Well, I can't. I can't tell you. It's not fair to them. It's private, but it was good. <laughs> really good. Yep, so that's it. I'm off to... Um, just maybe... Put on, let's uh, put on maybe a bit more um, uh, chill out music or something like that and start um, focusing on getting some rest. And then I've got to focus on, uh, quite frankly, I really, 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 well, just the only thing I need to do, like I've said before, I need to partition off anything I find and I'll put it in for the live stream two weeks from now and it, you know, it just pops up, it bubbles up, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, two, um, the second thing though is complete focus on um, the Paul Header interview. I do not want to um, uh, do a bad job for, no, no, I don't want, like, imagine if I do a, just a god awful, whatever, I make him look like a complete jackass, you know, like, that's not fair. Like so on and so forth. Like no, 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 no. So can't. None of that can happen. None of that can happen. This has got to be proper. Um, yeah. So still, um, like I said, this opportunity out there. I can't believe I got to talk to um, Norm Christie properly. Like I said, he gave me his business. I got. I got to make a business card. I was told that last year, they were like, why don't you have one? I'm like, don't think these things, man. Um, sweet Jesus jumping, man. I got to talk to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, son of a bitch. Like in crazy weird ways. Like I let her loose. I let her loose. Like, and he did not look at me f like, like I was like some whack job. I was like, tra-la-la, tra-la-la. <sighs> Anyways, that's it. I'm just <sighs> in craziness. Okay, I'll show you the book quick. Escape. I looked a uh, lot like just, mm. who said war is hell? <laughs> I would have seen lots of people. Hold on here. Yeah, look at the room more. 40. Can you see that? Yeah, can. Good. And then this one, I got that. This as well. I think I paid $2. Oh, I showed you. Sorry. I'm doing it all over again. Sorry. And one more time, I guess. Why not? <laughs> I, I wish there was the book he told me that... Uh, was the uh, European version of this. I don't know what it was, but anyways, that's it. Hope you're having a good old time, man. Great to see you. Or, oh, Jesus, jumping mother. You know what? It's just great to interact with you. See ya.